Hey everyone, this is Sanjay here. In this video, I will show you how to install Chrome OS onto a Windows PC. Uh, for this, I am using an open source project called Branch developed by Sibansi and uh, his fellow contributors. Just go to Google and search for Branch space Sibansi. His GitHub repository will show up. This is the repository. According to him, most of the Intel based x86 64 bit computers are supported, starting from the first generation of Intel Core processor. And also, he mentions that AMD Stony Ridge CPUs are the only one which is supported in uh, Chrome OS. And also, Nvidia cards are also not supported. And you can go through this for uh, any hardware support or uh, if you have a different hardware than Intel. Okay, let's go through his installation guide. The easiest way is to go have a uh, Linux live environment or Linux environment to install Chrome OS. And these are the install instructions. And I will cover this one. Install Chrome OS on an uh, USB or an internal hot disk. Okay, let's uh, head to his release pages. Releases. And they are also testing the builds. And we are going to grab this table version. This is the latest table version uh, which I can uh, download. Uh, these are testing versions. Just click on assets and, cl and click on branch. This will download the thing. I have already downloaded uh, the branch. So after this we can go back to this repository and we can see the link to download the bin file for Chrome OS. This link is not working. Uh, just click on this link in here just uh, uh, type in same as this is all suggested from the guide which uh, the developer has created on the re repository I'm going to download this recovery image recovery image since we have downloaded uh, the release for R83 which means recovery 83 I'm going with the uh, recovery 83 image just click on that it will automatically download the zip file which contains the bin file I have already downloaded it so I am going to skip that and this is the recovery.zip file this is the bin file which we need and this is the branch ok just create a new folder in your desktop on the open it and drag and drag and drop all these files to that ok branch branch files are successfully copied to the new folder and uh, we can extract the bin file then grab the bin file from this folder and uh, drag and drop it to the new folder which we have recently created these are the files which is necessary to install chrome os onto your usb or uh, into your uh, internal hot disk if you want to rename it you can rename it i'm going to rename it as crs and i'm going to copy this uh, to the usb disk i have already copied this to the usb and uh, we are uh, ready to boot into linux mint I have already made a Linux Mint bootable USB using the Ventai tool. If you don't know about the Ventai tool, I have made a video about it. You can click on this i button above. I will also add the link in the description below. You can watch that. It is an awesome tool which uh, you can you can just drag and drop the ISO file of Linux Mint or Windows into the USB disk and it will automatically mount the ISO image as a CD and you can uh, install from that okay enough of that let's go back to the installation of chrome os let's uh, shut down now i am going to boot from my usb this is my uh, usb which i have a uh, bootable linux mint i am going to boot the linux mint iso I chose Linux Mint because it is uh, very easy to use. It is uh, similar to Windows. Okay, let's go to the branch repository. In the branch repository, we can uh, scroll all the way down to the Chrome OS install instruction. We have already extracted the um, bin file and uh, all the branch uh, files in Windows itself. So it is very easy to install Chrome OS onto your uh, USB or internal uh, hot disk. I'm going to just keep this aside and I am going to open the USB this is the folder which we have uh, copied into the USB just right click on that and uh, and click on open in terminal 
let's keep the terminal uh, on the left side for installation uh, we need to install uh, two dependencies which is uh, pv and uh, cgpt i'm going to uh, install those i will link these commands in the description below you can just copy and paste it i'm going to install pv i'm going to install cgpt after that is done i'm going to clear the screen just type clear and hit enter everything in the terminal will be cleared and i am going to install it to the internal hard disk of my system so i am going to format my internal hard disk just type in this command ls blk and hit enter this will show the entire uh, storage device in your system sda is my uh, uh, data hard disk and sdb is a uh, empty disk which is 1tb 1TB is very high for uh, Chrome OS so I will make a video uh, for dual booting windows and uh, Chrome OS in the future so I am going to install onto my internal SATA hot disk which is SDB and I will share you a quick tip here you can see all the disk which are uh, plugged into the system and the SDA and the SDB are my internal hot disk we can easily identify those by seeing the size of this hard disks or usb sda is my uh, internal hard disk which contains my data it has five partitions so it is listed as five sda1 to sda5 and sdb has a uh, single partition of uh, 931 gb and sdd is my uh, usb memory card reader which has a uh, capacity of 3.7 gb and sd is the ventoid drive which i have used it to boot linux mint from here i am going to install chrome os on sdb the second hard disk which all the data is empty i am repeating that the sdb is empty if you install uh, the chrome os by this method onto a usb or an internal hard disk it will completely wipe the data back up the data before installing chrome os by this method okay now uh, i will show you how to install the chrome os so so just type in this command you can also copy and paste this just uh, copy till src and hit ctrl c to copy and uh, press ctrl shift v to paste and then uh, we can go back to the usb and i have renamed the bin file to same as underscore recovery dot bin i'm going to type that same as underscore recovery dot bin after that we need to type hyphen dst space slash dev slash sd i'm going to install on sdb so i am giving uh, slash dev slash sdb if you are uh, installing onto a usb it will show as an um, sdb or sdc or sde something according to your uh, hard disk partition map before hitting enter make sure that uh, disk usb disk or an internal hard disk contains nothing because everything in uh, everything in that disk will be erased so keep in mind before uh, hitting the enter after this line i'm going to hit enter and it will show all the data on this disk will be erased and i'm going to type s and hit enter i will maximize this if you are uh, using an usb disk it will be slow according to the a port which you have uh, connected if you have a usb 3.0 it will be faster and if you have a uh, usb 2.0 uh, flash drive it will be slower i chose to install to the internal hard disk because um, i have only 2.0 ports in my uh, system Once everything is done perfectly, uh, it will show Chrome OS installed and uh, it took around uh, 3 to 5 minutes because I am using uh, my internal uh, hard disk. So 
let's close this and uh, reboot the system just type reboot and hit enter and hit enter and I am going to my boot menu I am using an old motherboard which does not recognize the EFI of the grub so I need to add the boot entry manually by using the Linux Mint USB I am going to boot back into the Linux Mint and I will come back ok I am back in the Linux Mint if you have the same trouble like me my motherboard does not recognize the EFI of the grub of my Chrome OS so I need to add the boot entry manually and I have already made a video to how to make a boot entry and I will link the video above and also I have given the link in the description for the video if you like to watch that video go ahead and watch it now I am going to add the boot entry for the Chrome OS which we have installed right now I am going to open the terminal and type in the command lsblk to list all the block and uh, uh, sudo block id blk id sudo block id for uh, listing the block ids and hit enter it will return something like this i will maximize this and i will open a open up another terminal and I am going to install the EFI boot manager sudo apt install EFI boot manager and hit enter it will automatically grab the EFI boot manager package and installs to the chrome os and then uh, we are going to give the following command sudo EFI boot mgr hyphen c hyphen capital L uh, name of the boot entry I am going to give it as Chrome OS uh, remember you should not give any space for the name space hyphen L space for the path just uh, click on the Linux Mint logo and uh, type disks and open this app in this app this is my uh, Chrome OS installed hard disk here you can see the partition number one is EFI system and I am going to click the play button here which will mount my EFI system disk and I will go and then just close this and minimize this and here you can see the EFI system partition just open the EFI system in this we need to locate boot x64.efi file just open the efi boot and here you can see the boot x64.efi um, it is in the path backslash efi backslash boot slash backslash boot x64.efi efi space hyphen d space slash dev slash sdb I know it is sdb because um, we have installed the chrome os onto the sdb when you install the chrome os it will uh, divide the disk into 12 partitions sdb then I hit space hyphen p now we need to find the partition number just go back to the disk app and uh, click on this here you can see that see that uh, EFI partition is in SDB 12 go minimize it and uh, give 12 space hyphen u space root is equal to we need to paste the part UUID for this SDB 12 we can go back to this terminal window and here we can see this is the sdb12 and we need the part uuid for this uh, partition i am going to copy this minimize it and i am going to paste this control shift v and hit enter it will automatically add a boot entry and here you can see the boot entries boot 000 
Chrome OS and we can also verify that by using EFI boot MGR space hyphen V and hit enter you can see some something like this uh, here you can see the boot entry for the Chrome OS and uh, if everything is fine just uh, give reboot and hit enter it will reboot the system I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to the boot menu here we can see the Chrome OS boot entry and uh, hit enter it will automatically boot into the grub and uh, it will automatically switch over to the branch framework which we have uh, in installed to our internal hard disk since we have installed the recovery for the chrome os it will automatically rebuild the chrome os and installs itself and it will take around uh, two minutes or three since this monitor is connected to my uh, discrete gpu as you can see uh, the chrome logo is stuck because i have connected uh, this monitor to my discrete gpu i am going to force shut the system and uh, i will enable that integrated gpu and turn back the system on this is my bios i am going to advance the north bridge i am going to enable the onboard graphics save changes and access so this is my igpu's monitor I am going to the boot menu I am going to boot the Chrome OS As you can see here we have successfully booted into the Chrome OS so I will uh, go through the initial setup I will just sign into my Google account and I will come back as of this build uh, the microphone is not working the recently released testing builds has fixed the mic issue most likely the stable version releasing this month or next month will uh, fix the mic issues on most of the system and I'm not sure about that okay let's continue as you can see my Moto X Play is automatically paired to the Chromebook this is actually emulating the pixel book which is released in 2015 this is not a emulating actually the same as actually same as is the board name for google pixel book which was released in uh, 2015 as you can see here uh, full fledged play store is available here and we can uh, also download and install the play store apps as you can see play store is working properly as you can see here we can download any play store apps and install to the chromebook if you like this video give a thumbs up and if you want to watch more content like this subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching